Hey guys, Karan from Obiscrub here and let's talk about 5 apps that your Galaxy Note 9 must have. The first thing you need to do on your Galaxy Note 9 is to get the latest Android Pie theme. It looks gorgeous in every way possible. It's a really minimal dark theme with Android Pie-like features. It turns all the native apps like the phone dialer, the gallery, the messages into really good looking dark themed apps. And if you're a dark theme lover, you're just going to enjoy this so much. Since it's not available in the Samsung theme store, there is a link in the description. Uh, click that and download the file by tapping on that red button. Before you install, go into wallpapers and themes on your phone and keep it open in the background. Now go into my files. You should see the file there. Tap on it and install. All right. Make sure that wallpapers and themes is open in the background. Then tap on your recent apps key and swipe away the Samsung theme store uh, window. Then go back into wallpapers and themes through settings and then hit the themes tab at the bottom. You should see the night theme up there. Tap on it and start trial. Don't worry, it's the full version and you might have to restart your phone again. And guys, before we move to the second one, it'll be great if you could just hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Coming to the second one, let's say I tap on one icon and it opens up the video that I want it to open. Okay, so in this case, it was a Daredevil Netflix season three trailer, right? Let's say I want to open a specific album in Google Photos each time and I have an icon for that, right? It's a quick shortcut. Or let's say there is one particular song that I listen to very often and I need an icon for that on my home screen. So all of these are shortcuts that you can now quickly make using one app called Shorty. Let's say I want to pin one file to my home screen. So I go into my file manager and I open, go to the file that I want to pin. All right. So let's say I want to pin the third file. So I long tap on it and then I just tap share. Pretty much anything that is shareable is pinnable to the home screen. So you get this option called pin to home screen, tap on it, and then you can change the name of the text, you know, the icon background color. You can even change what shows in the icon. So if you want a text or whether you want an emoji, it's totally up to you. Tap on the tick icon on the top right and it will just show up on your home screen. Coming to the third one, we all know that the Galaxy Note 9 has this feature that when a notification comes, you can have the edge of your display light up. So if you go into display and edge lighting settings, you can see that there are four different edge lighting styles but I have five more than the original four. So I have a total of nine styles. The first one is fluid. And as you can see, it has a pretty nice effect. The other one is a boomerang, which is like fluid, but just slightly different. Then there's galaxy, quite funky. And then celebrate, which is really over the top. So for you to get this, just go into your galaxy app store, search for edge lighting plus, just download that and you're all set. The next one is called Sound Assistant from Samsung and it gives you ultimate control over sound settings of your phone. First of all, you can default your volume rocker to always change the media volume. Second, you can set individual volume levels for each app. So just pick an app that, so that you know every time you open that app, it always opens up in that or for that volume that you set and you can do that for all the apps. You can also turn on dual app sound. So if you have two apps that are capable of playing music, you can actually have two apps play music and the other will not shut down. For example, let's say you're on Spotify or Savan and you know, you're playing your music. And if you go to YouTube and play a video or a music video there, it stops your streaming player from playing. With dual app sound, if I set YouTube to be the dual app sound app, then I can play audio on my music streaming app as well as YouTube. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, so I can then separate the app sound. So then I can set YouTube to play from the headphone jack, which is the phone. And then I can probably have Savan or Spotify to play through the Bluetooth headset. And that way, two people can hear music on two separate devices using the same phone. And you also get a floating sound assistant button, which always shows up as you use the volume rocker. And you can use that to change the app volume. So whatever apps are open, which utilize volume could be then managed independently over here. You could also go into your equalizer settings and you can, you know, turn up the bass or the treble, or you could all the way customize the equalizer. 
And the last app on the list is Wall Loop. It's a wallpaper app and it's perfect for the Galaxy Note 9, which hands down has one of the best displays in the smartphone market at the moment. And in fact, the wallpaper that I'm using right now on my home screen is a live wallpaper from Wall Loop. Okay, so let's go into the app. So I'm in the minimal live section from where I picked up my current wallpaper, but there are quite a few and a lot of these are locked. I think you get three keys that you can use to unlock any three locked wallpapers, uh, but you can go ahead and purchase the full version as well. I think it'll be totally worth it. I mean, some of these are really, really good. Let me also show their premium live wallpapers and they are fabulous. Just look at this one, the definition. In fact, this one too, it's really subtle. Um, really love all of these here. Now I love how they've categorized all of their wallpapers extremely well. I mean, pretty much anything that you can think of is over here. So if you're looking for specific wallpapers, all you have to do is tap on the category and you'll get some really kick-ass wallpapers. In Super AMOLED, which makes sense for the Galaxy Note 9, just look at that detail. So guys, that was all from my side. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Do leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.